When hitting a pause cue, the loops should not pause, although the timeline will stop. The loops should keep on running when the now pointer runs into a pause cue. Continuing from our last setup, where we learned how the pause cues work, we might notice that not only the playback stops, but the clip preview stops as well. Maybe we want our loop of video to keep running until we have the next fade in. In order to do this, we have to detach the clip from the timeline. At the moment, we can see this small clock icon, which basically means that the clip is tied to the timeline. Once we select the clip so that it turns blue, we can then go to the inspector on the left, where we can deselect the lock to time command. In visual terms, once we've done that, we can see that a small little person appears, who symbolizes the free run mode. Now we want to save both a play and a play loop command on layer 1, right at the beginning of the clip, which we will save using the store active command. The idea is that once the clip starts running and the now pointer stops during the pause, the clip will continue to run until a new command has been entered in some way. Store active play and you will see that the clip will continue running. Now for example during a brand presentation or a keynote speech one often does not know how long the speaker's speech is really going to be and this way one is a little bit more independent in terms of time management.